Hey guys, Ursa Dia here, and I'm back with another K-pop reaction video. Today I will be reacting to Ace Buzz, S Buzz. I have no idea how the hell it's supposed to be pronounced. I've not heard this said out loud yet. Um, their debut song, Black Mamba, and I'm extremely interested in this group because it is the new SM group, I believe, and they are kind of doing like a KDA situation in which they have four, I believe, real members, and then four, like, CGI, like, kind of, like, vocaloidy type figures. Um, so I think that's going to be interesting. I don't know if it's going to play into the music video. I think it would be a shame if it didn't. Um, but I do know that they're kind of trying to copy, like, the whole, like, KDA kind of using like CGI and stuff and so I kind of want to see how that plays out with a real group versus like how it does in like KDA because I'm a really big fan of KDA so I kind of just want to check this out and see what it is so let's get into it. You'll notice today I have my Bluetooth headphones because my cat ear headphones broke um so that's sad, but I'll get new ones. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, it has like a nice strong start. Their outfits look good. Okay, Espa, that's how it is. I really like the, like, beat of the music. I like the fast-paced clapping of the pre-chorus. Ooh, okay. My friends warned me that they, like, dropped, but I didn't realize they were, like, dropping. Oh my god. They sound really good. I love like how like fantastical like the music video sets are. The outfits look so good. Yeah, what does Espa mean? They like keep saying it. I'll look it up later, maybe. That's cool. They are so goddamn flexible. I I would not be able to do that. If I practice hard enough, I could. Ooh, I like the cool like eye thing. Ooh. Okay, I really enjoyed that part. That's kind of like a little bit of like lore into like a dance break, that's nice. Okay, okay, finally we're getting like a little bit of like the like CGI members. It only took to like the freaking bridge of the song. <laughs> There's only two of them. Okay, three? Did that one show up already? Okay. Oh, it's continuing. I love how like video gamey this is. I 
Their logo is cool. Like, honestly, that could be a game logo. Okay, I wonder what the part at the end is supposed to mean. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. So, final thoughts. One, I'm gonna Google what ESPA is. So, their name is a combination of the AE, like symbol, um, which means Avatar X Experience, and Aspect, which means double sided. So, that's actually really. Actually, that's like a really cool, like, name. Like, it has, like, double meanings in it. I actually really enjoy that. Like, typically, my favorite type of, like, K pop group names are, like, weirdly spelled, like, puns or, like, ways to, like, weirdly spell, like, words, like, 21, how it's, like, 2 N E 1, um, and things like that. So, I really like just really cool, like, group names. So, I actually really, really think. Like, think this is cool because, like, the Avatar X experience, like, kind of has, like, a video game meaning, and it works because they have, like, the avatars, like, the CGI figures of themselves. And then Aspect, which is double sided, and so they have the double sided of, they have the real life versions of them and the CGI versions. So that's a really cool name. I like the name. And now that I know that I'm pronouncing it correctly, that's really cool. I think that's awesome. Okay. Anyways, on to the actual song. I really like the song. For a debut song, this was really good. It's not what I was expecting, but they did really well. I kind of wish some of the rap parts were a little bit more like punch in the face, like thinking back on it now, like I didn't get that and I feel like the song would have worked really well if they had like that punch in the face rap especially because like and I'm going to be I know that they aren't KDA but I'm going to be comparing it to KDA because KDA is the closest thing that we have to a group like this and so like in KDA like their rap parts like punch you in the face like there are some hardcore raps and this song, I think, really fits that style. And so I kind of wish that the rap parts were a bit more, like, out there um, and in your face. Because, like, thinking back on it now, like, I can't remember the rap part. And so I kind of wish it had a little bit more pow to it. Vocally, they all sounded really, really good. Like, I don't have anything bad to say about the vocals. Like, the vocals sounded really good. It matched well with the song. The dance, oh my god, like, <laughs> early in the morning, like, my friends, like, they were, like, talking about the drop, and they were like, oh, they go low, low, and I was just like, well, how low can they go? I was not expecting that low. <laughs> like, oh my god. Like, they must be, like, flexible to, like, drop down like that, and then kind of, like, do, like, a downward dog, and then drop again. Like, I... I don't think I could do that. I probably could if I, like, practice enough, but I am not a very flexible person. So, like, props to them on that, because that has got to be not only a hard move, but, like, it's already hard to, like, sing and dance at the same time, but, like, I can't imagine how hard it must be to, like, sing in, like, that position. Like, I, I would never do it. Um... But I really liked the dance. I thought it was really well. I loved their outfits. Their outfits, I thought, looked really great. Like, they all looked really pretty, and I thought that each outfit, like, matched the, like, vibe of the song really well. And I loved the sets. Like, the sets were so, like, fantastical and ethereal, and it was, like, a really cool mix of, like, kind of having, like, digital, like, not even, like, Compl like kind of like cheesy CGI not like really like detailed like CGI but kind of like cheesy more like 8-bit style like cartoony digital mixed with like just this really like pretty like lighting and like flowers and kind of more nature aspects and I really liked how it kind of all got brought together because it made me feel like I was like playing like a really cool like new video game 
and like it just was really really cool my one critique of it is the fact that they really didn't use the CGI characters so I really don't get what the point of them is like in KDA it makes sense that the music videos would be using the characters because KDA is a group kind of that like is made to promote songs to promote League of Legends so they didn't have to create new characters they had the characters in the game they just restyled them with new skins and made a music video and it works really really well and it does a phenomenal job because the entire thing is like CGI and then when they have everybody like perform at like championships and stuff they're able to use holographic imaging to create the CGI characters to do the dances or walk around the stage while the actual performers are also dancing and performing on the same stage and so it works really well in that aspect but here they went through all the trouble to make their own characters like they're not league of legends they're not a game they had to create the characters and so for the characters to only really show in literally like i didn't see one until like in the middle of the bridge which is literally at the end of the song like it came after the dance break and so to like have it wait that long and then I think I only saw two, maybe three of them. And I believe that there are supposed to be four. Like, correct me if I'm wrong. But I think at most I only saw three. Maybe I missed one. Um, and the third one that I saw, I think might have actually been the first one I saw. I'm really not sure because I haven't, like, memorized what they all look like. But I think I saw minimum two of them, maximum three of them. And I think that there's supposed to be four. Um but they were just shown in like reflections for brief seconds and only at the very end so I really don't get what the point of them was like I would have loved to see like one of like maybe not like the dance break but like one of the choruses instead of showing the real girls show like the CGI characters dancing like if you're going to make like if you're going to put so much effort into creating a group that utilizes like CGI characters and that's the big like appeal to this group is that they're the first just normal K-pop group outside of like KDA to do that like you want to utilize it like I, I feel like I just don't get the point like I expected it to be like a lot more present in the music video so I'm really kind of disappointed in that like I was really excited to see like this really cool like blend of realism versus like CGI like brought together through the girls and their avatars and do it kind of like a uh, like League of Legends championship concert type thing but in a music video so like half of it's like the pop stars or like more music music video and like half of it's like a regular like music video I would have loved to see them merge together more instead of having like the girls in these really pretty like reminiscent of video games like sets and stuff with digital aspects to it but it was more digital in terms of like glitches or like cartoons and stuff like that I would have loved to see it more of like maybe like the real girls like glitching and turning into like their avatars and then like the avatars get to like sing and dance for a little bit and then they glitch back into the real people or like I would have loved to see especially because this is their debut song like a storyline of why there are these avatars like put them in a game setting put them in a storyline setting put them in some sort of situation in which like maybe they opened like a new video game and they got sucked in and that's how they became like these like pop star like CGI characters and then like they use music to defeat evil or something and then they like came back or like something like that like if you're going to have these characters like use the characters like SM you're putting so much freaking money into them for them to show up in literally probably less than 10 seconds of this entire music video 
So, really didn't enjoy that. Though, speaking of lore, I did enjoy right before the dance break, they kind of had, like, the one girl's eyes turn completely black, and then there was, like, a throne in which, like, one girl was sitting, and it was, like, all gold and black, and there was, like, another one behind that said something. It didn't have translation for that, because I think it might be, like, a made-up language. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I just didn't know what they said. Um, and then like fog took over. I really loved that. Like that's probably my favorite part of the music video because it was kind of like this lore aspect to it. It like gave me like a sense of storyline that I felt like kind of just got lost in all the rest of it. So song wise, loved it. Wish the rap was a bit harder, but other than that, really great for a debut song. Dance, top notch. I can't do that. Um, at least not right now. In terms of the actual group itself, love the concept. I just think that they set the bar here and they ended like here. Like they came so close to meeting expectations and I don't think that they met them. So hopefully in the future we will get to see them actually utilize these characters a bit more. But right now I'm kind of disappointed because they had this chance to like utilize these characters and make something really really cool like this was a perfect song and like even like their sets and stuff would be so perfect for something like that and I just feel like they didn't use utilize the characters to their advantage so I don't know let me get know what you guys think down in the comments below if you agree if you don't if you maybe know a little bit more that like explains why they didn't do that um, I don't know, I, I feel like what I'm saying is kind of a hot take, but I also feel like it might be something that a lot of people agree with. Um, but yeah, let me know down in the comments below what you guys think of it. Um, also if you have anything you want me to react to, leave it in the comments as well. I know I'm really behind on them, I'm trying to like deal with finals applying for grad school and moving out of my apartment so like my brain is like all over the place. I have two videos recorded that will be coming up probably after this one so just if you request something I'm sorry it's not out sooner. I am getting to it. I haven't forgotten. I'm just like being pulled in 25 directions and don't have energy so I'm so sorry but I will get to it I swear. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I release more K-pop reaction videos or just other fun videos on my channel. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Love you. Bye.